But the reality, of course, is that what I didn't know then, which I know now, is that 96% of the US population will outlive their savings. That is based on Charles Schwab saying that retirees need about $2 million savings, total savings, um, to retire reasonably comfortably. You know, this is pre-Trump, pre-pandemic, pre-Ukraine. Fact all the rest then, I reckon even 2 million is not going to cut it. So then you look at how many people in the United States have assets worth 2 million, right? It's like 2%. So to be conservative, I add another 2% and I work out, take 4% away from 100, 96% of the population. Let's be even more conservative, 90%. Nine out of 10 retirees will outlive their savings. So longevity has destroyed the pension equation. But the money is a side issue here. It's not even the number one issue. The two main issues are, right? I mean, I think I'm jumping the gun here, but I did a, a survey of 21,000 people. Age it's good 55 size. to 75. 55 to 75. 21,000 right. people. 21,000 people in North America, the UK, Australia, New Zealand, the English-speaking world. And I asked them nine questions. And one of the pivotal questions was, what is your single biggest challenge in retirement? Now, in parenthesis, this was done right in the middle of the pandemic. Right. I'm just putting it out there because the answers are kind of going to show you that 50 mm percent -hmm. said health issues is their single biggest challenge. Yes, that took me aback. Whoa, 50 percent, 50 percent. So people are worrying about their health. Right. The pandemic mm -hmm. didn't help, obviously. So it might have even contributed to how high that is. The second one was 35 percent outliving their savings, 15% aimlessness, lack of purpose. Now, that's the question number five. Two questions later, question number seven, I asked them, I, I tweaked the question. If you were given a magic wand, what single challenge would you address? 50% said health again. So that doesn't change. But what changes is you give people agency, 35 or 36% said wanting a new purpose. Whoa. Yeah. The finance and the purpose flipped over, which was a fascinating thing. But after I'd done this study, which took a year. So hold on, hold on. So we get, so it makes sense. So health stayed the same, but instead of worrying about outliving their money, 35%. Now, 35% if they had a magic wand would figure out a new purpose. And Correct. then and then the, the latter part, would was the rest of it a money concern? Wave but, a magic yeah, wand 15 and I... 15% was money, yeah. Okay. So it's interesting, when you give people agency, you know, money is not the most important factor. Hmm. But money's not the most important factor because after I did the study... You know how I was telling this to an engineer, um, you know how engineers tick boxes, you know, they, they check everything, they tick boxes and all the boxes are ticked, but you have this nagging feeling that something is wrong. Something isn't right here. And that's the feeling I had when I finished the survey. And I realized that when I came across a, a quote from Henry Ford, who said, if I had asked people what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. Isn't that brilliant? Yeah, that is brilliant. And here yes. I am asking people, what is their single biggest challenge in retirement? And they're telling me what they think. And they're not wrong. They're absolutely right. That's what they think. That's what they believe. But here's the point. They don't know what they don't know. And that's where I then had to backtrack and ask myself, what is the real problem here. Now, we're not talking about the symptoms. 
you know, what is the real issue, the underlying issue here? And the underlying issue, it came to me by process of elimination, is that just like, and I always come back to the Russia-Ukraine war for some unknown reason, the first casualty in war is the truth. Why? Because mm. propaganda kicks in. Sure. Right? That's just the nature of war. The first casualty in retirement, which nobody recognizes because it's kind of hidden, is loss of identity. Who am I now? And that loss of identity is like a virus. It's like a termite in a house. It eats away at the staircase. And you don't know. You go up and down that staircase every day. Nothing's wrong. And then suddenly, boom, it caves in. 